The Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy has publicly demonstrated the operational capabilities of its first catapult-equipped aircraft carrier, the Fujian. Official imagery and videos released by the PLA Navy confirms that the new J-35 naval stealth fighters, KJ-600 airborne early warning and control aircraft, and J-15T single-seat carrier-based fighters are conducting carrier trials, including catapult launches and arrested recoveries. This marks a significant milestone as these fixed-wing aircraft types had not previously been seen operating from Fujian. Advanced Aircraft and Catapult System the Fujian is China's third aircraft carrier and the first to feature a catapult launch system, specifically electromagnetically powered catapults. This technology allows for the launch of heavier aircraft and offers advantages such as finer tuning for different aircraft types and lower reset times compared to steam-powered catapults. The J-35, a next-generation carrier fighter, is a stealthy design intended for catabar, catapult-assisted takeoff, but arrested recovery, operations from the outset. The J-15T is a version of the J-15 family specifically developed for catapult launch, enabling it to launch at higher operating weights than in Stobar, short takeoff but assisted recovery, mode used on China's earlier carriers. The KJ-600 airborne early warning and control aircraft is sized and designed exclusively for catabar operations, restricting its use to the Fujian and subsequent carriers. This aircraft fulfills a role similar to the U.S. Navy's E-2 Hawkeye. Strategic Implications The successful flight operations on the Fujian signify that China's first domestically built catapult-equipped aircraft carrier has achieved electromagnetic catapult launch and recovery capabilities, indicating initial full-deck enhances the carrier's combat capability and efficiency. The Fujian is expected to enter operational solely sustain three carrier rotations, enabling a continuous carrier presence in key strategic areas. China's advancements in aircraft carrier technology, exemplified by the Fujian, have significant strategic implications for regional security, diplomatic relations, and the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific. This development underscores China's ambition to assert itself as a formidable maritime force and challenges the long-standing maritime dominance of the United States in the region. China's strategic motivations and naval expansion. China's investment in aircraft carriers is a key manifestation of its progress in naval warfare, symbolizing its ambition to become a formidable maritime force in the Asia-Pacific and beyond. The launch of the Fujian, China's third AC and its first domestically designed carrier, provides insights into the motivations behind the People's Republic of China's quest for naval capacity. Contrary to common belief, the PRC is not primarily developing ACs to signal its status as a great power. Rather, it's a strategic shift towards a building strategy initiated by Xi Jinping in 2009. This shift moved China from a sea denial strategy to one of sea control, aligning its new carrier competencies with the objective to enforce maritime sovereignty and ensure regional intervention capacity. These impact on regional security dynamics. The development of China's aircraft carrier program represents a significant shift in the regional balance of power, challenging the traditional dominance of the U.S. in maritime affairs and posing a threat to the military capabilities of U.S. allies in the Asia-Pacific region. China's growing investment in carriers underscores its increasing influence, which directly challenges the U.S.'s long-standing presence in the region. Operationally, ACs serve as strategic military assets, functioning as floating airbases and enabling the projection of air power across vast distances, thereby allowing for naval superiority and air supremacy. Once operational, the Fujian is expected to surpass the capacities of China's previous carriers, Liaoning and Shandong, in terms of size and technology. Maritime experts suggest that ACs are most effective when used against nations lacking a robust naval force, implying that the PLA Navy is developing these assets to exert influence over neighboring nations with comparatively weaker military capabilities, especially in regional disputes in the South or East China Sea. This strategy involves leveraging military encounters along China's maritime periphery for valuable training opportunities, a concept known as Nadi Lianbing. Regional actors must re economic ties 
and the overall stability of the Indo-Pacific region. Challenges and opportunities for the U.S. and allies. The PRC's launch of its third AC in June 2022 highlights its challenge to the long-standing maritime dominance that the U.S. has maintained in the Indo-Pacific for decades, jeopardizing its historical superiority in the region. However, the Fujian, while an improvement, still falls short of direct competition with the U.S. due to its reliance on support ships for extended range and reportedly decreased effectiveness of its MALs compared to America's nuclear carriers. The PLA also faces a shortage of qualified pilots, which limits the Fujian's mission's area denial capabilities, which include a diverse arsenal of crews and ballistic missiles, drones, and satellites designed to target enemy AC competencies. China aims to build as many as six ACs by the 2030s and is pursuing nuclear-powered carriers, despite a nearly 90-year lag in carrier development compared to the U.S. The U.S. continues to maintain a visible and persistent presence of ACs in the Indo-Pacific, primarily through the U.S. 7th Fleet, to deter aggression and reassure allies. These forward-deployed units offer a critical advantage in crisis response capabilities by being 17 steaming days closer to regional locations than those based in the continental U.S.